I've been going to Anzac Day now for uh, uh, about 20 years um, and I always attend the march and I noticed in the first ever year I went to Anzac Day the people were carrying banners with holes cut in them and I asked around and asked why do people cut holes in their banners and I've seen them every year since and I get the feeling that there's uh, some sort of urban myth or legend that somehow the wind will somehow be allowed through a banner uh, and it will make it easier to, ca to carry. And I know from very basic aerodynamics that cutting small holes in banners is a complete waste of time. It will just make the banners fray quicker and fail quicker and it really doesn't reduce the drag very much. We're doing a wind tunnel test to prove just once and for all that putting all these holes in the banners really won't make any difference. The series of tests we were running in the wind tunnel, we first uh, cut holes at around 2.5%, which matches the regulations. Uh, we then decided to triple that up to about 7.5%, then went even greater up to around 20%, just so we could see what the difference was by increasing the size of holes in the, the, the banners. From the tests we ran, we were able to pretty much confirm some of the earlier studies done and we essentially showed that when you cut holes to the size that most regulations suggest you do, you get very little change in the drag loading on your sign. I'm hoping that by showing this uh, theoretically and practically in a wind tunnel, um, governments will take notice uh, and they'll amend their legislation and stop people having to cut banners uh, cut holes in their banners. Um, we really would prefer governments, of course, to base their policy on evidence.